What's up everyone, Nadine New here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick release on your Toyota pickup. This is a 95 Toyota pickup, but for most third, second generation, first, second, third generation Toyota pickup, it's very similar. Things you'll need is a flathead, 12 millimeter wrench, socket, whatever you prefer. I prefer a wrench with this style. You also need these. These are very important. These are called clevis pin. This is 516 by two and a quarter. So that's the length and that's the uh, thickness 516 by two and a quarter these are your door hinges we're basically going to cut this grind that off and the, this is going to replace it so very easy to do we're going to take off these hinges and also this guy here just pops right out you also want to roll your window down just in case because the door will be coming off and you don't want to damage it so roll the window down Make sure you save this because you will be needing it. The door is pretty heavy, so make sure you get a good hold of it. It does help if you have a second person to help you out. But if you're doing this by yourself, just make sure you're pretty strong. Once you have it out, just set the door aside for now. So this is what you should have right now. You could go ahead and unbolt this and have the whole hinge off. But I think I'm gonna try a different technique. I'm just gonna grind here take out the pin and then um, bolt this to the door. So we're gonna go from that. So it's really easy, just get to grind it out and grind right here and right here. Once you do this, there is no turning back. So if you ever wanna go back to your regular hinges, you will have to buy new hinges. Once that's grind out, just take your flathead. You're just gonna have to pop it out. might need a little vice grip or something to pull it out if they're pretty rusty go ahead and spray some PB blaster or WD-40 something like that <clears throat> once that's out you can take one of your clevis pin and shove it from the top and just pound the other one out Go ahead and throw these guys away. You don't need these no more. Okay, so once you've taken out the stock hinges, go ahead and remove the door hinge here, or the stock pin. Go ahead and remove the door hinges and put this back onto your door. So go ahead and put, go ahead and tie on these four bolts. Once you have the door hinges on, it's time to put the door back on. You want to line it up and then slip in the new uh, clevis pin. It's kind of, it's not that hard for a one-man person, but it is, it is a bit tricky. So if you do have two people, it does really help. But when you're on the trail. Try to practice doing it by yourself. So with the bottom hinge, you want to drop it down. And for the top hinge, you want to shove the cleavers up and then put the safety pin on. So for the bottom pin, you don't need a safety pin. Okay, so once that's done, this is how your new cleavers pin should be working. The top pin goes from the bottom up and then you put your cotter pin up in there. You shove in this little safety guide. This is like your tension. This is what keeps your door open when you open it up. And then for the bottom pin, it goes down and then it's usually gravity hole. You don't really have to put a safety pin down here, but I think there's enough room if you want to do it just in case. But that's pretty much it. Go ahead and do the same thing to your other, die, to your other door. Rope your window. And it fits perfectly, you can't really tell. And then when you go off the trail, and you want to take off your door you just pull out those pins that's pretty much it if you guys find this video helpful subscribe for more video follow me on instagram nothing new underscore four by four see you guys next time